hi you guys welcome to our last circle time of the whole school year i cannot believe that this is the last one we have had a crazy year this year haven't we it seems like forever since we've been able to go to school and be together and we've had to do this school like this online or or by just working at home with our parents on the packets that the teachers send oh it's been weird and I hope that next year we will be able to be together a lot more, if not every day. Um, so this is our last time getting together or doing circle time. I might pop in and do some more videos throughout the summer just to say hi or just to read a book to you guys because I miss you. Um, some of our friends are going to move on to kindergarten, so they're not going to be back at our school next year. But some of our friends will be back with us, and some of you guys will be there. And um, I'm so excited to get to see you in the fall. All right, guys, let's start with our song, okay? That was a long intro. <laughs> hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? How are you this special day? I'm so glad you came today. Hello, hello, how are you? I hope you guys are doing well. Um, so I have a friend that wanted to come say hello before we do anything. Hi, everyone. <gasps> Hi, Nerg. Can you guys say hello to Nerg? Hi, Nerg. Hi, everyone. I miss you all so much, and I hope you're doing good at home and you're staying healthy. Um, I hope they are too, Nerg. It's important, isn't it? We want everybody to be healthy. Yes, we do. You guys, I hope you have an awesome summer and have lots of fun with your family and your friends that might live near you. It's going, you're going to have a great summer. And I hope my friends who are going to kindergarten are going to have so much fun in kindergarten at your new school. And I can't wait to see my friends who are coming back. We're going to have fun next year, aren't we? Are we going to learn lots of new things? Oh, yeah. All right, Nerg. I'm going to put you back on the shelf so you can watch Circle Time today, okay? Okay. I'll see you guys later. Bye. All right, you guys. Um, I have loved having Nerg in our classroom this year. Isn't he fun? He is so much fun. All right, you guys. I want to sing a song or or. I don't even think it's a song. I guess it is a song. Uh, we've done it a few times in class. Do you guys remember this one? It's the five little carrots. We got five carrots. One, two, three, four, five. And you remember how it goes? It goes like this. Five little carrots sitting in, or five little carrots sitting in the ground. Teasing Mr. Bunny. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Bunny. As quiet as can be. And he snatches that carrot right out of the ground. How many carrots are left? Did you say four? One, two, three, four. There's four left. Let's count. Let's do the song again. Ready? Four little carrots sitting in the ground. Teasing Mr. Bunny. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Bunny. As quiet as can be. And snatches that carrot right out of the ground. Oh my. How many carrots are left? Three carrots. One, two, three. Three little carrots sitting in the ground. Teasing Mr. Bunny. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Bunny. As quiet as can be. And he snatches that carrot right out of the ground. How many are left? Two. That's right. Two carrots. One, two. Two little carrots sitting in the ground. Teasing Mr. Bunny. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Bunny. As quiet as can be. And he snatches that 
carrot right out of the ground. All right, how many are left? One. One little carrot sitting in the ground, teasing Mr. Bunny. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Bunny, as quiet as can be. And he snatches that carrot right out of the ground. Isn't that funny? I like that song. That's a fun one. All right. Um, we didn't do the calendar, guys. How silly of me. Or our counting, I mean. <laughs> Let's do our counting. Yesterday was the number seven. Wonder what comes after seven. Do you know? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, the number eight. All right. And let's do eight to eight in Spanish. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. Good job, you guys. I love that you guys have learned to count in Spanish this year. That is so much fun. All right. I want to sing another song, you guys. We've, we've counted and we've sang. Um, let's do our hello bingo song. Come on, there we go. I have such trouble getting that up there, don't I? All right, so we're gonna put, first letter we're gonna put up is the letter, what letter is that? H. H. Okay. And the next letter is an E. 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 Okay. Oh. Then we have an L. L. O. L. And then we have another L. And I need to move my H over and my E over. I ran out of room, you guys. An L, an L, and the last letter is an O. Ah, ah. All right, and this word up here says, hello. Um... And Teacher Jamie can't remember how the song goes. To all my friends at our preschool, hello I say to you. H-E-L-L-O, 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 hello we say to you. All right, that's how it goes. All right, we're going to turn over the first letter, the letter, the letter H. Yeah. Turn that one over and we're going to clap one time for one hand, okay? To all our friends at our preschool, hello we say to you, E-L-L-O, 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 hello I say to you. All right, I'm going to take away or turn over this letter. What letter is this? An E. And we're going to clap one, two times. Ready? To all our friends at our preschool, hello we say to you. L-L-O. 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 Hello I say to you. All right, guys, we're going to turn over the next letter, the letter L. Letter L. To all our friends at our preschool, hello we say to you. L-O, 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 hello we say to you. All right, and this letter is another L. We're going to turn it over and we're going to clap one, two, three, four times. To all our friends at our preschool, hello we say to you. Oh, 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 hello, we say to you. 
All right, and we're gonna turn over the last one. To all our friends at our preschool, hello we say to you. Hello we say to you. All right, you guys. Ha, um, I think I'm just gonna read one more book to you, our last book of the school year, and then we're gonna sign off, okay? I found this book, I was in the classroom today starting to clean some stuff up and get ready for the summer, and I found this book of Teacher Rachel's and I thought it was cute, so I wanna read it to you. It's called Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon, and it is written by Patty Lovell, and it's illustrated by David Catrow. So Patty wrote the words and David drew the pictures. Molly Lou Mellon stood just taller than her dog and was the shortest girl in the first grade. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, walk as proudly as you can and the world will look up to you. She is little, isn't she? So she did. Look at her. She's doing handstands down the, down the stairs. Molly Lou Mellon had buck teeth that stood out so far she could stack pennies on them. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, smile big and the world will smile right alongside you. So she did. Look at that smile. <laughs> Molly Lou Mellon had a voice that sounded like a bullfrog being squeezed by a boa constrictor. She didn't mind. Her grandma told her, sing out clear and strong and the world will cry tears of joy. So she's singing there with the frogs. Look at the froggy's expression on his face. Do you think he likes it? <laughs> So she did. Look at all those insects think that she's singing beautifully, don't they? Molly Lou Mellon had often fumbled, had often fumbled fingers. She didn't mind. Her grandma told her, believe in yourself and the world will believe in you too. She believed that she could do it. So she did. Look at her. She's balancing all that stuff like the cat in the hat did in the, that book, doesn't she? <laughs> then Molly Lou Mellon moved to a new town. She had to say goodbye to her grandma and all of her friends. Oh, kind of like we had to say goodbye, didn't we? And started a new school. Some of our friends are going to start at a new school next year, aren't they? In the fall. On the first day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Shrimpo in gym class. Then when the game started, Molly Lou Mellon caught the football, ran under the legs of Donald Durkin, and scored a touchdown. All the children thought, wow, she's good. And Donald Durkin felt very foolish. Look at that. She ran right underneath them and made him flip over. <laughs> On the second day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Bucky Tooth Beaver. Molly Lou Mellon took, took out her pennies, stacked ten high on her teeth and smiled as big as day. All the children smiled with glee and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. Look at him. He's feeling silly. On the third day of school, Ronald Durkin said, you sound like a sick duck. Honk, honk. Molly Lou Mellon sang out a quack as clear and strong that it made Ronald Durkin somersault backwards, hit his head, and have to go to the nurse. 
All the children cried with joy to be free of Ronald Durkin for the rest of the afternoon, and Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. On the fourth day of school, Ronald Durkin said that she'd made that she, she'd made the snowflake all wrong. But Molly Lumellen opened up her paper and revealed the most beautiful snowflake of all. All the children oohed and awed over even Ronald. Look at that snowflake. It's huge. I wonder how she made that. On the fifth day of school, Ronald Durkin brought Molly Lumellen a stacking penny for her tooth and smiled at her. Aw, he likes her. That night, Molly Lou Mellon took out a pencil and paper and wrote a letter to her grandma. Dear Grandma, I want to tell you that everything you told me was exactly right. Love, Molly Lou Mellon. Aw, that is a very nice book. I like that book. Okay, friends. I have loved being your teacher this year, and I hope that I get to see you again one day. Some of you in school next year and others, I don't know when, but I hope that you enjoy kindergarten when you go to kindergarten and that you just do great. I'll be thinking of you. I miss you guys already. Um, have a great summer, okay? Um, and for those of you who are in the morning class, um, I will get to see you and Teacher Rachel and Teacher Josie will get to see you on Wednesday. We're going to come and deliver your last packet of stuff, okay? All right, guys. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends friends goodbye friends it's time to say goodbye i messed that up didn't i all right you guys i will um miss you have a good summer bye